Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to compute a common size balance sheet. A common size balance sheet divides every number in the balance sheet by total assets and that makes it easier to compare two companies that are vastly different size. We're comparing Kroger's, a grocery chain, a large grocery chain, with Tiffany's, a large jewelry chain, except that Kroger's is a lot larger than Tiffany's. These are in millions of dollars so you're looking at a $30 billion company versus a $5 billion company in terms of total assets. So it's hard to make comparisons between these two because the numbers aren't, are, it's hard to compare $9 billion here with less than $1 billion here in long-term debt. By rendering everything as a percent of assets, which is also called vertical analysis. It makes it easier to make comparisons between the two companies. So I'm going to take all this data here. I'm just going to copy it over to the right. And then I'm going to divide everything by total assets. And I'm doing all five years at the same time. and then I'll pretty it up when I'm done. All right, so I've got Kroger's would be the first company and then Tiffany's will be the second company. Alright, so I've got them side by side and these are two common size balance sheets. Some of the things that it might immediately uh, rip off at you, look at the difference here. The current assets are close to 70 percent for Tiffany's and it's only about 30 cent percent for Kroger. About half of Tiffany's total assets are inventory. And that sort of makes sense because you've got to have a large variety of rings and diamond earrings and all that other crap laid around for when people come in to shop. Kroger has a lot of inventory, but they turn it over all the time. That's because you can't leave bananas on the shelf for two weeks. So the bread, the meat, and the fresh vegetables, and the fresh milk, and all the other things that they sell that are perishable has to be sold within a week or so. So they hold relatively fewer assets, they just have to replace them much more often. So they turn over their inventory fairly regularly. They also own a lot of buildings that they have their groceries in, and Tiffany's on the other hand tends to lease space in malls. If we go down here into the liability section, something else that jumps out is the current liabilities, short-term liabilities are much higher for the uh, Kroger stores than the Tiffany stores. And in fact, the total liabilities, the borrowed money, is twice as high in Kroger as it is in Tiffany's. Well, you can't you can't go broke if you don't owe anybody money. The grocery business is pretty stable. That means that people are going to buy groceries no matter what the economic conditions are. So let's say I was thinking I was going to lose my job. Oh, what do I do with my money? Do I buy groceries or do I buy a diamond watch for my wife? Well, that's pretty easy. So if I think the economy's going into crapper. I'm still going to go out there and buy groceries, but I'm not going to spend as much money on jewelry. So a jewelry store can't keep as high of a debt load. Now, it, it works the same for people. If you thought you had a high chance of losing your job, you wouldn't borrow as much money to buy a house or to buy a car. Well, companies think a lot the same way. So Kroger can take on more debt because simply because they have a more stable business model. If we go down here into the equity, all right, so... It's either debt or equity, so if there's 82% debt, it means it's 18% equity. But looking at where the equity comes from, notice this line, Treasury Stock. That's where Kroger had issued common stock to its shareholders, 
and it bought it back. It took it took equity out of the business, and that's uh, that's a very common thing in the uh, in the two thousand tens. A lot more companies are actually buying back their own shares of stock rather than making investment in new grocery stores and and things like that. All right, so that's the common size balance sheet and income statement in a nutshell.